and it's not that far from it's like it's part of Florida but it's riding along Florida so it's like on the Alps you know that's how the Kenneth Major is in the cosmos alright beautiful beautiful planet created by one of the gods from uh from our home planet that's why I said our home planet is headquarters because we have branched out everywhere we are everywhere so Xylanthia, where we all come from, is that's why that's headquarters. But yeah, among the Candace Major, some of the most intelligent scientists, some of our most profound, intelligent um, genetic engineers, and, um, some of our most beautiful goddesses and most intelligent goddesses and fiercest warriors um, exist on the Candace Major. Um, it's a very, very, very... I'm, I'm, I got a book coming out. I got different books where I'm going to just completely go into super detail about these planets even more because, you know, it stands out more when it's in a book even more. But yeah, it's like it's a, it's a beautiful planet. And it's the beings that inhibit the Candace Major are, like I say, some of the most uh, most advanced of us, you know. But you have a lot of scientists on the Candace Major. Um, a lot of scientists like to go there to, to practice, you know, on their different science techniques and different things that they are, you know, concocting and manifesting or whatever it might might be. It's almost like the resort of the cosmos, the Candace Major. But on this Candace Major, um, this is where uh, cannabis was originally created. So you know it now as weed, cannabis, but and marijuana and loud and kush, zaza and all that. But cannabis is the spiritual, the cosmic name of it. And um, the reason they, they, they don't even like you to say cannabis they prefer you to say weed or marijuana or loud or zaza or kush or, you know, they, they, they never want us to say our original names, you know, because when you say cannabis, you know, you're acknowledging it for, you know, um, uh, the deeper, you know, metaphysical properties that it withholds. And, all right. So understand that you have you are you are full of neuromelanin. This is the science behind cannabis. So. You are full of neuromelanin, and this neuromelanin um, exists from the core of your chi or your soul, okay? So that means no matter where you go, whether it's on the Candace Major, uh, Xylanthia, Sirius X, um, here on planet Kai, um, to the Orion star system, you go to the Pegasus galaxies, whatever you are, wherever you're going, it don't matter. You know, you're gonna keep this neuromelanin because it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's found out throughout the cosmos. That's what makes it so powerful. You're gonna keep it with you. It's like the the vibranium of the cosmos. Think about how how powerful vibranium was to like uh, Wakanda and Black Panther. Vibranium was everything, right? Your neuromelanin is everything. This is what these reptilians eat off you here when they drink the blood. They drink in the neuromelanin. Um, this is why they want to keep you scared and keep fear tactics over you because they are they need they want to drink the the neuromelanin through your blood. You know what I'm saying? They the adrenochrome, but it's really the neuromelanin. All right. So understand that this same neuromelanin can be activated. Through any source of electricity. So. You have these electrical coils. They are unlimited in their growth. All right. And you know it as hair or ether. You have all these pores for these electrical coils. And these are just extensions of your spirit and your soul. So this is why no matter what planet you go to, you're going to always grow this ether in some form, shape, way, or fashion. All right. This ether you have combined with your neuromelanin, all right. When it comes into contact with these properties, these, these divine properties that were placed in this cannabis, they were placed in the cannabis to enhance you. So, when any when any when any part of your being comes into contact with the, with this cannabis, it enhances you on a metaphysical level. 
all right? Whether you eat it, you know, drink it, all right? A lot of Rastafarians, they be like, they don't smoke it because they don't like to consume fire. But a lot of them don't know that that was something that was taught to them by these, once again, these Europeans. Because you should have no problem with consuming fire because you are fire. You are water. You are the water. You are the fire. So that means you smoke too. The embers too. You are the earth. You are the air. You are nature. This is a supreme divine fact. You, we are nine ether beings. That means we are complete. You know how they people be like, we not perfect. You are perfect. See, they and when they, they taught you to spell cast you over yourself and say that you wasn't. You are perfect. You you were born perfect. You were created perf perfect. You manifested in perf in perfectness. You're trying to get back to that state of perfection, but don't ever say you're not perfect. You know y'all know that saying ain't nobody perfect. Yes, what we are perfect. See that see we we are ancient beings. So whatever you say, you create. So when you're saying you're not perfect, what you think you're doing? You are perfect. You are perfect. You perfect. Stop saying you're not. Stop telling your kids they not. You are perfect. You trying to get back to that state. Never forget. Because see, when you be like, you're not perfect. Then there's no bar set. So you never even attempt to get back to that state of perfection. You don't hear me. Your old person taught you to say that you're not perfect. Y'all know the saying when you make a mistake. Anybody hurt? You are perfect though. But as long as you're saying, ain't nobody perfect, you settling for less. So there's no, you don't even have a bar set for trying to even reach perfectness again. For trying to attain it because you already got it in your mind that you are not perfect and nobody's perfect. You see all the light code lockdown fuckery and trickery he gets you to speak over you? He understands your divineness. He understands the depth of your powers. He can never control it, but he understands it. 